Welcome to another Fusion Spray Foam video. Here in this video we're at a stage of construction which we normally don't get invited into and it's where the rafters have been attached to the walls and here you can see the insulation, the internal cavity wall insulation exposed and also on the gable wall here. So this customer who was very fastidious, very nitpicky about thermal bridging wanting good air tightness, wanting good thermal isolation, asked us in at this stage of the development to spray that area you see now in frame. So why would he do that? Well, there's a few benefits for doing this. One, you seal the cavity. You, by spraying open cell foam, in this case, we could have used closed cell, but the customer preferred open cell. He was familiar with the properties of both and we're, we're, we're sealing this area. It's behind the wall plate where you see the roof rafters coming down. They sit on that timber which sits on top of the wall. That's here in Ireland what we call a wall plate. And it's the outside of that wall plate that we're spraying today, not inside. Typically we're invited into a house when the roof felt is on, the tiles are on, the slates are on, but very rarely are we invited in at this stage and I often think it's a little bit of a pity that this part of the insulation process is neglected. So coming back to what are the benefits of doing this? Thermal isolation, air tightness, you're sealing the top of your cavity. This customer while he has put what's known as a Kingspan insulated board into his 8 inch cavity uh, there's still a gap there and he proposes to fill this gap with a product called Kingspan Envirobead. I believe that's the name for the product. And this product is blown in. And if you haven't your cavities sealed at the top of the walls, well, the uh, beads tend to blow about all over the place when they're blasted in by compressor. So this air sealing, as I mentioned earlier, is being done with an open cell foam. The customer preferred open cell because it's a fully breathable foam. The only caution we'd add with spraying open cell foam is that it's by definition open and had rain come along after we did this job, well it would soak the foam. Will the foam dry out? Of course it will. But you wouldn't want to leave the foam open for weeks on end getting saturated. I don't think that would do it any favours. A couple of soakings would probably be okay and this particular chap who was project managing this house had scheduled the roofers to be in the very next day so they could apply the roof felt and protect this open cell foam. So the nature of the this we move on this roof here now you'll see that the cavities are now closed and this part of the uh, extension we'll call it our sunroom area he's actually closed the cavities with uh, block closers but that made no difference again he wanted the spray foam applied here so again to cut down on thermal bridging to stop the transfer or cold spots transferring heat transferring from inside the house to outside the house open cell foam here as you will see it's rising up through the 150 mil rafters and you might be concerned that well that's going to block ventilation isn't it well actually no this is the rough cut you're seeing here uh, we come along afterwards and trim back any areas so that a, a 50 mil gap is created there because when we come to uh, spray this house internally we fit a, a, a spacer system you might have seen it on previous videos of ours if not check out our previous videos and this spacer will mate into the gap that we're going to leave outside so once we spray the foam internally it will meet this foam on top of the wall plate if you can visualize that I accept it's difficult to visualize this and uh, uh, again completes the thermal isolation uh, joins the foam being sprayed inside will join with this foam that's been applied outside but in that critical area the wall plate area the it takes time spraying the foam to make sure that you have all the areas filled all the gaps filled uh, people often ask me what does open cell foam look like well 
uh, I always describe it as a, a kind of a crumpled up duvet. So the foam expands 100, 150 times the original volume. We're spraying a liquid paint. It's it's like like a paint. It's not. It's obviously not a paint, but it's it it sprays on like a paint. But then because of the nature of polyurethane foam, this in this case open cell foam expands very rapidly to fill the areas. having a walkthrough of the finished job so we're um, having having a walkthrough to check a final quality control check to make sure that no areas have been missed here you'll see the the gable walls we've also filled for the customer and we're just walking around the house now uh, it's evening time now there's a lovely golden hour sunlight uh, beaming in there and this house it's worth mentioning uh, is right beside the sea and spray foam is always very popular in locations that are beside the sea why is that because spray foam is the one insulation system that guarantees protection from drafts and storms that you can get at the sea so this house has some spectacular views uh, just tried to capture there with the camera uh, that particular beach is a spectacular beach in the summertime but nonetheless in the winter time living beside the sea brings its own set of problems so spray foam is your number one ally thanks for watching folks please subscribe i'm planning to bring you more videos in the coming weeks and months